Open in 2017. There's a look at the beautiful state-of-the-art Mercedes-Benz Stadium here in Atlanta, GA. Today we've got an NFC matchup on tap as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Atlanta Falcons. And this taken in at the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Dallas offense set for this next drive. Throwing first play is Lance. Escaping the pressure right. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. From midfield, here's Lance. His throw incomplete. Haven't met a corner that's worked this up yet, but ever admits to worrying about man coverage. How about the play there, breaking that pass? Now Lance unable to escape, and down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. How to approach this. Third down and 16 yards to go. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. That's caught inside the 20. And he will go out of bounds down at the 15-yard line. So after the big play, look at this. All the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Here's a second and eight. Going to run again here with Pollard. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Throwing his lance on third down. Under pressure, and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. And this one. Through. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3 nothing lead. So a nice drive on the road. You come in, you take the ball down, you get three points. Yeah, points are a must on an opening drive, right? So they moved it down efficiently, got it done. I think that bodes well for their chances moving forward in this one. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Here comes the Atlanta offense now, ready to take over here. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And it's going to be caught by Pitts. And he'll have it past midfield, almost to the 40, before being taken down. A little too aggressive defensively, and the flag comes out. And no one trying to cover is going to like a call going against them, but you have to like the effort there. Went for the interception, just unable to get it, and the flag did come out. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Patterson on the draw, and he'll get it inside the 35. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Eluding the pressure right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. Back to throw now on first down. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be... to throw and this is going to be caught no they say it's incomplete quarterbacking 101 never force the ball into double coverage especially not this close to the goal line the win and i believe they buzz down they're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half extra pointed
get it. First half as the kicks away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. And the Cowboys going to go on offense one final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively offensive. Oh, what a juke into space. Now he's loose down the left sideline. And he goes diving to get as much as he can following a big gain. A nice little cherry on top there at the end. Here we go. Here we go. A final shot before half for Lance. Forced out. To and he gets it into the end zone with no time left in the second quarter as they take the lead. Big decision there. They say forget the field goal and go for it, and it pays off. I wonder who was in the ear of the head coach on this one. Did he make this call on his own, or maybe the analytics coach got involved? And a lot of times you talk about that all week before the game. Hey, if we're in certain situations, analytics actually says do it this way, which we're might just about be against to get the back norm. to it. Both teams <laughs> making their final that adjustments. Really nice and we'll head back to in Atlanta there on the final play and rejoin of the first Brandon half. In charge. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And Patterson will not return it. It comes out to the 25. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stock troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. And they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here. That ball is caught. It's London for the Atlanta touchdown. A 14-yard touchdown. And the Falcons have taken the lead here in this third quarter. Well, with this... talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the... And that was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it. You think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big-time arm right there, and let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. 
And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A first down and then some. Give him 29 yards. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. Back now in Atlanta. It's the Cowboys in possession of the football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. Now he's got it. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Now he's been quiet all afternoon. He may have just come up with a play of the day right there, though. Obviously, it's not the volume in which you get done. It's the quality, and that was a quality catch right there. Good work there, holding them out on first down, and this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. I see you nodding your head up and down. It's a very petty decision at this stage of the game. Out of the pocket, nowhere to go. Just get rid of it. That's a smart play because you're not worried about your completion percentage. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Brandon Cooks. A one-yard touchdown reception. And the Cowboys answer back with a touchdown of their own. PAT. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. Cordero Patterson to return it, bringing it out of the end zone. So all eyes on the Falcons. Down by a field goal, a little over a minute to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Inside a minute to go. Here's second and ten now. He's back to throw. He's going to let it fly. And got his man complete. He's to the 15. He takes it across for the touchdown. And they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow. Wow. And what a throw that was. Charles, you think about the situation, close game, fourth quarter, rookie quarterback, he doesn't seem phased one bit. So much for Bright Light's big city, and will he wilt? Not at all. The stage not too big, the moment not too big at all. They needed points on that series, and not only did he produce a touchdown. Finishing it off with a big play that only adds to the momentum that they've already established. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. Kevontae Turpin now to return. Now it's the Cowboys' turn. Trailing by five. A little over 40 seconds to go. They need a touchdown. A field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and ten. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. Ready? Now Lance. The 20. Still going. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. The Cowboys are going to use their second timeout now. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So this offense still has the one timeout here, remember. First and ten. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Here's second down. Oh, now, meanwhile, the pass incomplete, but penalty flags on the field. There might very well have been early contact there. Here's first and goal. Lance back to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Line of scrimmage again, the four-yard line. Second and goal. Taking the lead here in the final seconds. They're going to keep it on the ground. And he'll get in. Oh, and 
So now a field goal would only tie as they've upped their lead to three. So that effort gives him a three-point cushion and guarantees that a field goal going forward won't beat them. Yeah, that's really good strategy because that's all you care about. Not getting beat at this stage, at least give your team a fighting chance. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hope got a man. It's caught inside the 10. And all the stadium clock says zero, but the one on your screen is the one that matters. And the officials say yes, it's a timeout with one second left to go and a field goal try forthcoming to potentially send this to overtime. Fourth quarter is not enough for all even, and to overtime we go. How much fun is this for everyone who's watching the game? How much fun is it for us? So possession and overtime first goes to the Atlanta Falcons, and we are back underway. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. Dude. That's bottom shelf material. Third down and 13. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so are they going to be diligent about throwing the flag. Second and five. Got London on the slam. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. First down now, but the clock continues to move. On play action, they'll throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Here's second and ten. Back to the ground with Robinson. And a nice job to break free of one tapper, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Robinson up the middle. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. One overtime. How about two? We need another. We're still even. We'll switch sides and have that second overtime in just a moment. They work now on second and nine. Straight ahead, Patterson. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Veteran running back like him, we've seen a lot of those chunk carries in his career. And that's why you don't just look at his birth certificate and decide when a guy is done, right? Because you know as well as I do in this league, as soon as you hit 30, they're looking to let you go if you're a running back. Sometimes a little tread left on the tires. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Robinson will get down close to the goal line, but not in, and as he'll be marked down at the one. Robinson is into the end zone. It's a Falcons touchdown. So the second down...
pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost. with a first throw in overtime. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. The Cowboys looking to get going again in a hurry. We'll see what Lance can do in OT. Flushed out right. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. I sort of like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice humble slide there to avoid the big hit. And he gets a small gain on the play. Cook splashing the footwork. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First down now, but that clock rolling. Here's Lance. It's intercepted. That'll seal it. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And the Falcons are going to take possession here at their own 33. So a win here for the Falcons. And it was their quarterback who led the way, Charles. Pretty impressive play for a rookie. Yeah, what struck me was how composed he was in the pocket.